Istanbul is one of the world's most visited tourist destination. Founded around 1000 BC, the colony of Byzantium grew into the Byzantine Empire's great capital of Constantinople, and after the Ottoman conquest of the city, retained its glorious place as the heart of their empire. The city officially renamed Istanbul after the founding of the Turkish Republic is liberally scattered with glorious remnants of its long and illustrious history, and the tourist attractions here will impress even the most monument-weary visitor, as well as the big four the Hagia Sophia Mosque, Topkapi Palace, the Blue Mosque, and Grand Bazaar. Leave enough time to explore the other sites, although many of the most popular and best places to visit are located in or near the old city district of Sultan Ahmed. There's a dazzling array of other things to do throughout the farther reaches of the city. Plan your trip with our video of the top attractions and things to do in Istanbul. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Hagia Sophia Mosque Hagia Sophia, officially the Hagia Sophia Grand Mosque, is a mosque and major cultural and historical site in Istanbul. It's said that when the Byzantine Emperor Justinian entered his finished church for the first time in CE 536, he cried out glory to God that I have been judged worthy of such a work. O Solomon, I have out on you. The Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia in Turkish was the emperor's swaggering statement to the world of the wealth and technical ability of his empire. Tradition maintained that the area surrounding the emperor's throne within the church was the official center of the world. Through its conversion to a mosque, after the Ottoman armies conquered Constantinople, to its further conversion into a museum in the 20th century and its reconversion back into a working mosque in 2020, the Hagia Sophia has remained one of Istanbul's most cherished landmarks. Two, visit the Blue Mosque. Sultan Ahmed I's grand architectural gift to his capital was this beautiful mosque, commonly known as the Blue Mosque today. Built between 1609 and 1616, the mosque caused a fury throughout the Muslim world when it was finished, as it had six minarets the same number as the Great Mosque of Mecca. A seventh minaret was eventually gifted to Mecca to stem the descent. The mosque gets its nickname from its interior decoration of tens of thousands of Iznik tiles. The entire spatial and color effect of the interior makes the mosque one of the finest achievements of Ottoman architecture. A great sightseeing joy of a trip to Istanbul is wandering amid the garden sandwich between the Blue Mosque and the Hagia Sophia to experience their dueling domes in twin glory. Come at dusk for extra ambience as the call to prayer echoes out. Directly behind the Blue Mosque is the Aresta Bazaar, a great place for a shopping stop as the handicraft shops here sell high-quality souvenirs. Even if you are not interested in a browse, head here to see the Great Palace Mosaic Museum, which is tucked between the Aresta Bazaar and the mosque. This small museum displays the 250 square meter fragment of mosaic pavement that was unearthed in the 1950 here. Excellent information panels explain the mosaic floor's recovery and subsequent rescue. Number 3. Basilica Cistern Basilica Cistern is one of Istanbul's most surprising tourist attractions. This huge, palace-like underground hall, supported by 336 columns in 12 rows, once stored the imperial water supply for the Byzantine emperors. The project was begun by Constantine the Great but finished by Emperor Justinian in the 6th century. Many of the columns used in construction were recycled from earlier classical structures and featured decorative carvings. The most famous of these are the column bases known as the Medusa Stones in the northwest corner with their Medusa head carvings. A visit here is very atmospheric with the columns beautifully lit and the soft, steady trickle of water all around you. Number 4. Stroll the Hippodrome The ancient Hippodrome was begun by Septimius Severus in CE 203 and completed by Constantine the Great in CE 330. This was the center of Byzantine public life and the scene of splendid games and chariot races, but also factional conflicts. Today, there isn't much of the Hippodrome left to see, except for a small section of the gallery walls on the southern side, but the Itmaidani Park, which now stands on the site is home to a variety of monuments. On the northwest side is a fountain, presented to the Ottoman Sultan by the German Emperor William II in 1898. Then, heading southwest are three ancient monuments, a 20-meter-high Egyptian obelisk, the serpent column brought here from Delphi by Constantine, and a stone obelisk that originally was clad in gold-covered bronze plating 
until they were stolen by the soldiers of the Fourth Crusade in 1204. Number 5. Shop in the Grand Bazaar For many visitors, sightseeing in Istanbul is as much about shopping as museums and monumental attractions, and the Grand Bazaar is where everyone comes. This massive covered market is basically the world's first shopping mall, taking up a whole city quarter, surrounded by thick walls, between the Nuri Uzmanai Mosque and Bayezid Mosque. The Bayezid Mosque, built in 1498-1505 itself, occupies the site of Theodosius I Forum and has architecture inspired by the Hagia Sophia. Entrance to the bazaar is through one of eleven gates from where a maze of vaulted ceiling laneways, lined by shops and stalls selling every Turkish souvenir and handicraft you could imagine, cover the area. The various trades are still mostly segregated into particular sections, which makes browsing easier. Near the bazaar's Divinialu Kadesi entrance is the burn column. This stump still 40 meters high of a porphyry column was set up by Constantine the Great in his form. Until 1105, it bore a bronze statue of Constantine. Number 6. Spice Bazaar The Spice Bazaar is the place to get your foodie fix of locum Turkish delight made up of dried fruit, nuts, herbs, and of course, spices. Much of the money that helped construct it came from the taxes the Ottoman government levied on Egyptian-made products, which is why its name in Turkish is Misir Karsisi means Egyptian market. The Spice Bazaar is one of Istanbul's most popular tourist attractions and at certain times of the day gets ridiculously crowded with huge tour groups from the docked cruise ships. Try to come before 11 a.m. or after 4 p.m. to dodge the crowds. Just next door to the Spice Bazaar's main entrance is the stately Yeni Kami New Mosque, which was begun in 1615 and finished in 1663. That's new for Istanbul. It is worthwhile taking a peek inside, while you're sightseeing in the area, as the interior is richly decorated with tilework and liberal use of gold leaf. Number 7. Dalmabas Palace The sumptuous and ornate Dalmabas Palace shows the clear influence of European decoration and architecture on the Ottoman Empire in the 19th century. Built by Sultan Abdelmesid I in 1854, it replaced Topkapi Palace as the main residence of the sultans. Dalmabas Palace was also used as an official residence during the founding years of the Turkish Republic, and Ataturk, the founder of modern Turkey, died here in 1938. The formal gardens are punctuated with fountains, ornamental basins, and blooming flower beds. Inside, the interiors blend Rococo, Baroque, Neoclassical, and Ottoman elements with mammoth crystal chandeliers, liberal use of gold, French-style furnishings and frescoed ceilings to create a dazzling Turkish Renaissance style of sheer splendor and pomp. Number 8. Kora Church Kora means country in Greek, and this beautiful church originally called the Church of Saint Savior of Kora lay just outside old Constantinople city walls. The first Kora Church was probably built here in the 5th century, but what you see now is the building's sixth reconstruction as it was destroyed completely in the 9th century and went through several facelifts from the 11th to 14th centuries. The church was turned into a mosque after the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople and became a museum in 1945. In 2020, it reconverted into a working mosque. The monument is rightly world famous for its fabulously vibrant 14th century mosaics, preserved almost intact in the two narthexes and fragmentarily in the nave and the frescoes along the walls and domes. These incredible examples of Byzantine artistry cover a wide range of themes, from the genealogy of Christ to the New Testament stories. Number 9. View the Little Hagia Sophia Before Emperor Justinian built the Hagia Sophia, he had to test out if the building would work structurally. So he built this miniature version first. Its original name was the Church of Sergius and Bacchus, but the obvious architectural parallels with the Hagia Sophia led to its long-held nickname becoming the building's official title. During the Ottoman era, the church was converted into a mosque and it still functions as a working mosque today. Although its proportions aren't as grandiose as others in Istanbul, the building has been beautifully restored and is well worth a visit. The walk here, down narrow alleyways lined with tall Ottoman era buildings, some lavishly restored and others creaking their way into dilapidation, is a tranquil respite from central Sultanahmet. Take the time to have a glass of tea in the little Hagia Sophia's peaceful garden to sustain you for further sightseeing exploits. Number 10. Yedikul Fortress Although it's a bit of a schlep on the suburban train to get out to Yedikul Castle of the Seven Towers, this commanding fortress is well worth it. 
Built in the 5th century by the Emperor Theodosius II, the fortress made up the southern section of Constantinople's defensive walls. The mammoth arch blocked up in the late Byzantine period was known as Porta Aurea, Golden Gate, with doors plated in gold. When the Ottomans conquered the city, they used the fortress for defense, and later as a prison and execution place. Yenikul has been restored in recent years, and you can climb up to the top of the battlements for superb views across the Sea of Marmara. Number 11. Galata Tower this tower overlooking the Golden Horn was built by the Genos in the 14th century. Today, it remains one of Istanbul's most recognizable landmarks. Standing 52 meters tall, the tower was Istanbul's tallest building for centuries. The tower has been restored several times over the years due to being damaged by fire and storms. Today, the observation deck at the top story and its restaurant is one of the best places to visit in Istanbul for taking in the iconic skyline views of the central old city. Be aware, though, that it's a super popular site, so come early or be prepared to queue. Number 12. Cruise the Bosphorus Strait For many visitors, a trip to Istanbul isn't complete without hopping aboard a Bosphorus excursion ferry and cruising the city's famed waterway, which connects the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara. Istanbul's most iconic views are all from the water, and the Bosphorus excursion ferries are all about sitting back, relaxing, and taking in the scenery. The most famous ferry tour is the Long Bosphorus Tour, which heads from Amananu Ferry Dock Dali, all the way up the strait to the village and fortress at Anadolu Kavagi, near the northern mouth of the strait into the Black Sea. Along the ferry cruise there are shoreside vistas of defensive fortresses, Ottoman-era palaces and mansions, and the Bosphorus Bridges. The Long Bosphorus Tour takes two hours one way, stops in Anadolu Kavagi for three hours, and then returns so you need to set aside a full day of your itinerary if you want to do it. There's also a short Bosphorus tour option that operates daily two-hour afternoon sailings from spring to fall. This return ferry cruise heads up the Bosphorus as far as Rumeli Fortress before turning around. Number 13. Independence Street is a bustling modern shopping street with a wealth of restaurants and cafes. The lower end of the street can be reached by taking the world's oldest underground railway, the Tunnel, constructed in 1875 from near Galata Bridge. There's also a quaintly old-fashioned tramway that runs along its length right up to Taksim Square at the top of the hill. From Taksim Square, Izzy Kamuri Akadasi is lined with hotels, shops, restaurants, and high-rises. On the east side of the road, just after the square, is Maka Park, which is home to the interesting military museum. The area around Istiklal Akadasi is home to many churches and old consulate buildings with ornate facades. Also nearby is Orhan Pamuk's Museum of Innocence. Pamuk is Turkey's most famous author and the winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature. This conceptual art museum is based around the theme of his novel The Museum of Innocence and is a rather bizarre, kooky, and wonderfully atmospheric experience. 